Hi everyone, my name's Matt, and normally you'd install Windows on something like this, an M.2 NVMe SSD that's installed internally into your system. With that being said, I recently learned it's actually possible to boot Windows from an external drive. That got me thinking and made me want to create an external Windows drive that I could walk up to basically any system with, plug it in, and boot right into Windows off of it. This drive would hold various programs to allow me to quickly get important system information along with data like temps and various performance benchmark numbers. But there are a number of problems to solve with this plan which I'll be tackling throughout this video. The first is that normally external drives are pretty darn slow, but that's where the sponsor of today's video Best Buy comes in with the 2TB Crucial X9 Pro portable SSD that's currently on sale for over $70 off until February 10th which is a great deal for this much fast storage at under $130. This little guy offers 2 terabytes of capacity with blistering fast speeds of up to 1050 megabytes per second read and 975 megabytes per second write. It's dust resistant, water resistant, and has password protection with hardware encryption so you can be confident that your data will be safe. Opening up the box, you can see we get some product information along with the SSD itself which is impressively compact and a high quality USB-C cable which you definitely want to use to ensure you're getting the best performance possible. This is an extremely slim drive and has a footprint of around 2.5 by 2 inches and a weight of only 35 grams, meaning it's incredibly portable even being able to fit comfortably in a pocket and it has a nice premium feel with an integrated loop and rubberized back. Before using the Crucial X9 Pro for this project, I wanted to test it out to make sure it was ready for everything I would throw at it. Plugging it into my PC, I was happy to see it open right up, so I didn't have to format it or anything, and it even had a digital welcome page where you could do stuff like register your drive, and even claim a free one month of Adobe Creative Cloud All Apps plan, which if you're a content creator like me is a huge value add. Testing the Crucial X9 Pro and Crystal Disk Mark, I found the sequential read and writes were extremely close to the theoretical max performance of this drive, and as a more practical test, I copied over a nearly 8GB video file that took only around 10 seconds to fully transfer over. I'm going to use this drive to boot Windows, but I'm also very tempted to use it for a portable editing drive as it has the space to store thousands of photos, files, and videos while also offering the speed to edit and polish my projects with ease. And while I haven't used this drive very long yet, I'm pretty hopeful about its longevity as I've been using an older Crucial external SSD for years now without any problems. Crucial external SSDs offer powerful performance and ample storage for backing up files and videos and you can shop for them with the convenience of Best Buy using their website, app, or even in store, making this an ideal solution for on the go people. Another really good use case for this drive would be for an external games drive for something like a gaming laptop or gaming desktop that can't expand their internal storage any further. 2TB is enough space to store a pretty large games library and the speed of the Crucial X9 Pro means loading times and game download times should be very short. All in all, taking into account the compact size, large capacity, high performance, and solid price, the Crucial X9 Pro is not just a good choice for this project, but is able to handle a variety of tasks from basic backups to live video editing. I'm going to have a link to this 2TB X9 Pro in the description, which again is currently on sale until the 10th of February for only $128 at Best Buy, so if you need a lot of fast storage for any of your computers, I think this is an awesome option. Thanks again to Best Buy for sponsoring this video, and now it's time to show you how I'm going to use this drive to make my dream external Windows boot drive. So this project is only possible because of what Microsoft calls Windows to go, which originally was meant to allow Windows 10 to be booted off of a USB device. With that being said, Windows 10 is nearing end of life, so I'll be using a method to install and boot Windows 11 from the X9 Pro portable SSD. Doing this is actually pretty simple, you need two things, the first is the Windows 11 ISO which you can get directly from the Microsoft website and which will be linked below. Under this drop down you just select Windows 11, select download now, select your language, hit confirm, then select 64 bit download and you'll begin to download the Windows 11 ISO which is around 5GB so it may take some time depending on your internet speed. 
The next thing you'll need is a program called Rufus, which I'll also have linked below. To select to download the standard Windows X64 installer, then go ahead and run the program. With Rufus open, if your drive isn't showing up, you can hit Alt plus F and it should show up. Make sure the disk or ISO image is selected under boot selection, then select your Windows 11 ISO that you downloaded earlier, then you can change the image option from standard to Windows to go, then optionally you can rename the drive and then hit start. You can now select the version of Windows you want to install, I went with Windows 11 Pro, then it'll ask you to customize your Windows installation, and the only option I didn't select was the first one which was to prevent Windows from accessing your internal drives. Then press OK, then confirm you're OK with erasing all the data off your drive by pressing OK again, then it will go through and make your bootable Windows drive. With that all done, you can close out of Rufus and eject your new boot drive. To do the initial setup, I brought the drive over to my recent $600 gaming PC, plugged it in, then turned on the PC and started smashing the delete key to enter into the BIOS. I went under security and made sure secure boot was disabled, which from my understanding you need to have disabled to boot windows from an external drive. Then in the exit tab under boot override, I selected the windows boot manager on the USB drive. From there, windows took over and went through the setup process with the only thing I had to do was being accept the windows license agreement. Then I was brought into windows 11 where I could download a bunch of utilities like MSI afterburner and hardware monitor to use on future computers this drive will be plugged into. The first system I wanted to plug this into for testing was a quote unquote broken laptop that a family member gave me that might just have a dying hard drive and maybe just needs a thermal paste change. First thing was getting into BIOS which was just done by pressing F2 after powering it on. I went ahead and disabled secure boot, then changed the boot priority so the system would try to boot from the USB drive first. Then I saved changes slash exited and it did start to boot into Windows 11 but this is where the big problem with this setup shows up. When booting up I had to do about 10 to 15 minutes of repairs which I think is due to the fact I set this drive up on an AMD based system but moved it over to this Intel based laptop. It did eventually boot into Windows but it took much longer than I had hoped. But once I was in, I was able to do stuff like confirm the specs of the system and even run a CPU benchmark to see if the temps were getting out of hand. Temps seemed to be fine, so I went into Crystal Diskmark to check if the mechanical drive in the laptop was performing as expected. And while these numbers aren't great, they are to be expected from a laptop hard drive, so the problem with this system may just be a corrupted or otherwise damaged install of Windows. This is the exact type of troubleshooting and testing I was hoping to be able to do with a drive like this as I didn't have to open up or switch out the internal drive at all to do this testing. So this got me wondering if switching back to the AMD system would cause issues like it did going to the Intel one. So I powered down the laptop unplugged the drive and brought it back over to the AMD based machine from before. To my surprise it booted up relatively quickly but it did have to get some devices ready. I then went ahead and tested a few other systems, one was my personal rig using an Intel Core i9-12900K and that booted up just fine, as well as an AM5 build that also booted up fine. I think ideally I'd have two bootable Windows SSDs like this, one dedicated for Intel builds and one dedicated for AMD builds. I was honestly surprised with how well Windows was running off an external drive. This X9 Pro SSD was doing a great job of running Windows on all these machines. It was never the bottleneck in any of my testing or troubleshooting. With that being said, I think I'll personally end up using this crucial X9 Pro portable SSD as an on the go editing drive to store large video files and projects. 2 terabytes is a ton of space and the speed this SSD provides means transferring video files to and from it come with ease. So do I recommend running Windows on an external drive? While I do think it's fun to play around with and could even be useful in certain scenarios, I think for most people running it on an internal drive makes the most sense. Before I wrap this video up, I want to again thank Best Buy for sponsoring this video and giving me the opportunity to play around with the Crucial X9 Pro SSD. This drive is again on sale for over $70 off, which is a pretty darn good deal in my opinion. And if you're interested, all of it linked in the description down below. So yeah guys, I think it's time to wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.